Oh, oh. Huh. you scared me again there, friend and family. But we're always glad to have you here in the country kitchen. And I can see, you know, Gracie and Lilybit let me down again. Let y'all sneak past. Well, pardon my appearance. But we're getting ready to, you know, throw something together rather quickly into the old crock pot. So we can get on outside. I'm thinking I see a little bit of sunshine. That way it can be cooking up while I and you and the kitty crew get some other things done today since it's been raining forever, okay? But hey, let me show you what we got and what we got going on. And let's get this going, okay? So hold tight. Pull up a chair in the dining room. Or wash up and get ready to help, okay? So as you can see, we got it all laid out here on the counter. Yep. We got our old faithful crock pot we've had over 40 years. And that, it's a rival brand, I believe. Yep, rival crock pot. My mama gave me that. And uh, the meat we're going to be using today in this dish is brine smoked sausage. Yep, 14 ounce package there. But I mean, you could use any type of smoked sausage you want. There is one caveat to that. This is a fully cooked smoked sausage, as many of them are. You know, one of those heat and serve things. So check your package. If you're using something like Koneka or another sausage that hasn't been cooked yet, understand that will affect cooking times. Just a little bit of info there. And I've got a couple of cored and peeled fresh tomatoes there. If you don't got some fresh tomatoes that you can slice and dice up like I'll be doing, then use a can of that there uh, diced tomatoes. You know, one of them there 15 ounce cans or two if you like them. Or you can even use a can of stewed tomatoes or two. We're going to be using a nice big old handsome green bell pepper. Yep. A stock of celery there. A nice fine medium onion that's a yellow onion by the way but you could use a sweet or a red or a white if you wanted i prefer the yellows and we're going to be using about four medium russet potatoes here again you could use as much as you want or less another substitute for tomatoes albeit diced or fresh diced other than stewed is oh, oh, a can of Rotel. Yeah. And of course we got some of that there uh, high tech cooking spray to prep up our crock pot there. Make it a little bit easier to clean. And we're going to be using some apple cider vinegar today. Heinz brand. Some French's. Worcestershire sauce right there. Some of the famous slap your mama Cajun seasoning some Italian seasoning and I'm gonna be using a little bit of cumin too if you don't like it leave it out and we're gonna be putting in some beef bouillon some hunts tomato paste and that's it now you might wonder well what about the black pepper what about red pepper what about garlic? What about all that? Well, hey, that's where the slap your mama comes in. And for those of you who don't know it, and know how slap your pants off good this stuff is, well, you got to look around here in the back and see just what all is in it. Yep, you surely do, and where it comes from. Yep, but it's got the red pepper, the black pepper, garlic in it, onion powder, oh yeah. It's got all those things right in it. See? Salt, red pepper, black pepper, and garlic. Uh, no onions. My bad. I think that's Tony Shastery's. It's got onion powder in it. Anyway, that's what we're going to be using. And you might wonder what this is called. Well, this is called Lower Alabama Swamp Stew. Yep, sure is. Not sure who come up with it. And there really ain't no recipe. It's one of those meals that, you know, changes what you got on hand. 
one thing you can count on pretty much is there's going to be smoked sausage in tomato products green peppers or you can use colored peppers may not be celery if you don't have it but it's always going to be onions garlic you can use fresh if you want we're making this quick and easy today we want to get out and get into that sunshine because it's been a while since we've seen it so hey as you can tell we got a lot of slicing and dicing to do and once i and hopefully gracie and lily bit get that all accomplished we'll be back and we'll throw this all together it's just that easy okay Whew, that was some work well as you can see with the help of my two uh, kitchen crew helpers you know gracie a little bit we got this all chopped up sliced up diced up you know now they didn't do everything nor did i but they did help now i had to do the sausage for obvious reasons and we just cut it up in quarter to three sixteenths inch thick slices we got our potatoes there that gracie uh sliced diced peeled and all that uh, about the same you know quarter to three sixteenths thereabouts you know coarse chop i'd say chopped up for two fresh tomatoes and i did that because it was rather messy and i went ahead and got the onion chopped up you know that's all about a quarter inch chop right there see and a little bit did the celery and the bell pepper so we were all going on it but you can see now most of the work is done we've got our crock pot preheating on high and we've already taken that there high technology non-stick spray and sprayed the inside because i want to be it easy to clean yeah i'm lazy now you could use a liner yep or you could do like in the old days before we had that spray and put butter all over it or hey go a little bit further back in time lard yeah or you can use any type of cooking oil yeah really you can really don't gotta have cooking spray in case you know that too becomes an issue of shortages or it becomes non-existent anyway crock pot sitting there preheating and we got everything here ready to start putting this together and it's just basically dump it in dump in our seasonings and that and uh set it depending on whether we want to cook on uh slow all day or half a day depending on whether we keep it on high or low we'll probably be cooking on low today we're in no big hurry like I say, we want to get out and enjoy some sunshine. Check on our little gardens. Maybe plant some more. Who knows? So, hey, let me get you set up. Let's start putting this together, okay? Now, there's no rhyme or reason how you add this. And that what we're going to do, because we're going to mix it up anyway, is we're going to take that 14 ounces of sliced up brine smoked sausage we're going to dump it in first now i will say this if you've got the time and you want to add another level of flavor you can brown these in a skillet prior to dumping them in your car pot oh yeah like i told you the browning flavors in the browning but today we ain't messing with that you don't have to you want to be lazy do that and let's get a wood spoon we got a, a sort of kind of wood spoon. Because the next thing we're just going to dump off in there is all the celery, onions. Yeah, we got a passel up there, don't we? I'm starting to wonder if this, all this will fit. Oh, I think so. We always say that, and somehow we magically get it all in there. And some of it we miss. So there we go and we're just going to give it a little bit of distribution as we go 
So we got that on in there. We got that celery, the onion in there and that there green bell pepper. Now remember that, that was one green bell pepper, one medium onion, yellow, and one stalk celery. I went ahead and put it extra stock in because I like celery but you don't have to now we're going to dump on in those fresh red ripe tomatoes Ooh, and we dice them up look at that look at that look at that and we saved that juice too Ooh. Ooh, look at that It don't get no better than that. You don't get that out of a can. No, so re. So the next thing up to bat, or before we start seasoning her up, is going to be our taters. Yep. I can say they're anywhere from three sixteenths up to, you know, nearly half inch. It's just a coarse chop. Whatever you like, make them whatever size you want. What a little bit. And since we had them sitting in water so they didn't all turn brown, we drained some of that water off. Woo there you can see. Getting a little bit up there. Yes, it is. But some of this is going to cook down. Oh, yeah. You know that. We're just going to give it a quick stir to... Uh, Bring up some of the bottom to the top. There we have. Now we got to start seasoning it right now. Now the first thing I'm going to put in there is that slap your mama. And like I say, if you ain't got that, you can use some of that Tony Chasseries or whatever you like. Now I'm going to be putting me in two teaspoons for right now. See? Because it's got salt and pepper and all that in it. And if we need a little more, we'll add a little more towards the end. Okay? Next thing we're going to drop on in there to give it that there Cajun flair and spice that's all nice is some of that Italian seasoning. And we're going to drop us in a nice level teaspoon of that there Italian seasoning. You know, with the basil and the oregano and the marjoram and the thyme. And it's even got rosemary, savory, and sage in it. All good. Now for the cumin, we're going to back off a little bit. And we're going to put us in just a little quarter teaspoon. Yeah, sure are. Now I'm going to tell you something. This ain't spicy enough for you. And you can chop up some jalapenos and throw in it. Or, if you ain't got no jalapenos, use some of those there crushed red pepper flakes like you see me doing all the time. Shake up our Worcestershire sauce. Right there. And we're going to dump this off in there. Two tablespoons. That's going to set that sausage off. Give it sort of a smoky bowl flavor to it. Trust me. And like I say, when it all comes together, it needs a little more. We can add a little more. Just like this here apple cider vinegar. We're going to drop in two tablespoons of that too. Now you can use regular white vinegar. You can use red wine. It won't make much of a difference. 
this gives it a little bit of tang or you can use lemon juice but this is going to give it that little tongue tang you know what I'm saying and got to get us in some more tomato yep and this is the taste but I'm going to dop in right there oh two heaping tablespoons of Hunt's tomato paste you can use some sauce you know if you want to whatever your favorite sauce is I just want that bold tomato taste and this here paste will definitely give it to me and then we're just going to take all that give it a little stir in the top just for right now because we still got to put in the bouillon cubes we're going to be adding four beef bouillon now you can use beef stock remember one bouillon cube is goes with eight ounces or one cup of water so if you want to use broth use one cup of beef broth or chicken broth that's what makes you happy shrimp broth I don't care I mean make it the way you want because like I say I don't think there's a recipe for this I've seen people make this every which way that's possible you know with whatever they had on hand sort of like gumbo can get sometimes you know you've seen shrimp gumbo you've seen shrimp and chicken you've seen shrimp chicken and sausage gumbo or you might just see sausage gumbo sort of like that there's four of them so we got the four in now we got to add some water to it got to add some juices to get it going you know So there's one cup fine filtered water oh yeah and there's a second cup didn't take a lot let me let me show you where we're at right now you see right in there that water's just about up to the top of the bed in our mixture and everything now we just got to give it a good stir get everything oh a little bit more friendly get that paste down in there and here's the thing about tomato paste if you don't like it don't add it I'll tell you something else goes good in this you know if you like that kind of thing and that's cilantro but I didn't have any nope like I said I've seen about everything it throwed in this but this is pretty much my basic you know I'm gonna have the green bell pepper I'm gonna have the celery yep and I'm gonna have the onion I'm gonna have the sausage and tomatoes garlic you know a lot of times it's gonna be fresh today we're just going with what was in the slap your mama we had fresh right over there see could have done it and normally I would but we're sort of in a hurry because we got to get this all to cooking of course now hey it's just slap the lid on set it on low now I leave it on high till I see it generating some you know that they're condensate on the lid and then I kick it over to low and I let it go now here's a secret too about cooking in a crock pot now you can let it go the full eight hours or sometimes ten and come back and one of the complaints is all the veg is just mush yeah what I like to do 
since I'm definitely using pre-cooked sausage here is I like to let it go till I get the bite that I want for my veg. I don't want my green pepper and my onion to be just mush and dissolve in my mouth or my potatoes. I want them to have just a little bit of that tooth feel, you know what I'm saying? So, I know, I'll be checking this in about three to four hours on high. Yep. And that's why all these crock pot recipes always say, you know, three to four, six to eight. Those are rules of thumb. It all depends on your preference. Now, if you set it in the morning, head to work, nine hours later you come back, it is what it is. Ain't nothing wrong with that if you don't mind. But since I'm here with it, I'm close enough to run on in the house to check it. That's exactly what I'll be doing. And when we check it, you'll be right here with me. And if we need to add any more additional seasoning, you'll be right here to see it. Because that's personal preference, too. What you saw is my base seasoning package. That works out pretty darn good, and it's pretty close. But I may want to add a little bit more something towards the end. You'll just have to wait and see, and that's what's cooking all about. A lot of it's experimentation, your own taste and family's taste. Yeah. You know, that's why they always say, season to taste. But anyway, let's throw on the lid and get to cooking, get to cleaning, and we'll be back. Oh, thanks a little. Appreciate you getting me the lid there. You are a good helper. Lily, you're such a good helper. Papa really does appreciate it. Thanks for handing me that lid and thank you for dicing up the celery. Yes. And the bell pepper. You did such a good job. Yes, you did. I love you too. Thank you. Well, as you can see, Lily Bit was a big help. She's so happy. Whew. Now to get cleaned up and let her cook. Yeah, I already see some steam forming on the lid. And hey, that's why you preheat the crock pot. It gets to cooking as soon as you get to dumping. All right, speeds up the process. If that's what you want it to do. And I do today. Shove it right on over there. And let her go. Mmm. Y'all enjoying your uh, supper? Lily, why do you have to get over in Gracie's bowl? You got the both same thing. You're such a hoglet. Go get hers, Gracie. Hmm. Well, I got to check on this. And I've already pulled me out a spoonful of this here delicious sausage swamp stew we've had it cooking now for right at nearly three hours on high so let's give it a taste test see how it's doing well, i've had this spoon cooling for just a bit mm. i won't tell you Ooh. That's just about perfect. Yep. And I mean your vegetables are going to get a little soft. But I'm ready to kick that down on low. Right now. So, with a preheated crock pot. And the fact that the sausage was already cooked. You know. Heat and serve tight. Being it was smoked from brine. Yeah. My crock pot, three hours. On high, has got her done. We're going to let it coast a while on low. While we butter up some bread. Now, that's another thing here. This right here goes fantastic over rice. Over your choice of noodles. Oh, yeah. 
or with a nice warm buttered slab of cornbread crusty bread hot and buttered or just like I'm gonna do tonight because it's nearly seven I'm just gonna have some buttered loaf white bread you know because this is down home po po food it surely is but hey once I get it bowled up I'll show you what we got and we'll give it that final taste test but right now whew, uh, I hate to call it perfect but it's pretty darn close I had to hold my pants on there it is somewhat flavorful well as you can see our uh, sausage swamp stew is all done Ooh, and it's got the house smelling really well or good or tasty or yummy it's got all the house smelling all those ways and the kitties are losing themselves they're down there wrestling right now to see who gets first piece of sausage yeah and of course we didn't make no cornbread we're a little too lazy for that tonight did make some of that there world famous pope -po garlic bread from you know those custom buns hot dog that is you know, with a little basil parsley oh garlic powder hmm. a little onion powder you can't get no better than that in no fancy restaurant but anyway you know we got to have a taste test the final one to see if it's just perfect so let's give it another taste test now that we got it in our bowl before we go sit down and enjoy it and call it a night well y'all I got a little bit of it all a little bit of tater green pepper celery onion tomato and sausage so hey let's give it a try Okay. I never want to say anything's perfect because what's perfect for me is not perfect for y'all. That's just got a touch of spice. Not too much. You know, ain't gonna make you sweat. Just enough to enhance the flavor of the bell pepper, the onion, the celery, even the sausage and potatoes. So I'm happy. I'm not going to add anything. But see, when, if you try this recipe, always remember to taste it before we serve it. Because you might like a little more salt, a little more pepper, a little more spice to make it nice. And you might want to have some cornbread or rice. Some of that there fancy crusty bread. You know, like a sourdough, Italian or French. Mmm. Or maybe you just don't know about gourmet garlic toast from hot dog buns. Hmm. It's all good. And like always, this is pulled pork food. For just regular old people, wherever you may be. I do hope you give it a try. I don't think you'll be disappointed. Until I my two uh, wrestle maniacs gracing a little bit and of course kitty crew outside spooky speedy Cleo oh Mr. Gray sometimes L. Rod and Magoo and Heathcliff see y'all on the next video hey y'all take care stay safe and God bless you as you bless others and hey if you want a bowl get in line bowls are in the parlor cabinet up on the second shelf and dish you up some we got enough for you later on oh did turn out pretty darn good yep three hours on high one hour on low just you know let everything meld together and it's i'll say it 
perfect. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Well, I gotta go eat. Woo! I'm coming. Well, I'll eat in here. <laughs>